Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing my TV show and movie wrap up for the month of January and February. I watched a total of three movies and three TV shows. I actually didn't watch anything in January. I watched everything in February. Um, my goal for 2018 is to like try to at least watch one movie a month and like two TV shows a month. So hopefully I can do that in like March and April and continue that throughout the year. But that is kind of my plan. So I'm just going to start with the movies. I rewatched two movies. The first one was Fifty Shades of Grey. And this I was rewatching because the third one was coming out and I just felt like I should rewatch it. And this I had originally given three stars and I'm sticking with that rating. I will link my letterboxed down below where I rate and review movies. If you are curious, you can follow me there. But yes, I still give this three stars. I mean, it's an okay movie. It's not like the best movie ever made. But if you're a fan of the books, then you're gonna love this movie, just like I did. I'm really happy I did rewatch it before seeing the third one. So also, I did rewatch the second movie, which was Fifty Shades Darker, and this I had originally given four stars, and I'm sticking with that rating for my rewatch. This one is so much better than the first movie. I am just still in shock at how great the second one is. Like, okay. Um, I will link my review I did for the second movie down below because I did do a video review for that one. And then I obviously watched Fifty Shades of Freed, which is the third movie in the trilogy. It's the final one. I'm so sad. It's all over. Like, I just had the best time watching these movies and just reacting to the trailers and just being a part of this fandom. It was so great. I will link my review for the third movie down below as well. And this one I also gave a four to five stars. Really liked it. It was a little too fast paced in my opinion, but I mean the book is like 500 pages and to squish that into like an hour and something like I get it, but they could have made it like two hours. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't. Anyways, I really liked it and I'm so, 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 so sad that it's all over. <laughs> now for TV shows, I finally caught up on Schitt's Creek and I'm like into it. I have one episode to watch now because I <laughs> didn't watch the latest episode, but I'm back on this show. I love it so much. It's so funny. It's so weird. It's so quirky. It's just so great. And it reminds me a lot of like growing up in a small town and just being Canadian. I don't know what it is, but it just has this weird like Canadian ism to it. <laughs> I don't know. I just really love this show and if you're looking for a really funny, fresh comedy, I highly recommend you check this one out. Then I caught up on Keeping Up With The Kardashians because I was like behind like 10 episodes, so I caught up on that and I also love this show. Like I don't feel guilty about liking The Kardashians. I just really love them. Say what you want about them, but they're honestly just like this unified family. And I think that's what I love about it so much is there's so many of them, but they're all like one big family. And it's just so nice to see, I guess. I don't know. I just, I really like the Kardashians. I don't care. And then I finally, finally watched season two of Haters Back Off. So this actually came out, I think back in October and I had every intention of watching it when it came out. But I just got so busy and then I wasn't really in the mood and then it was cancelled so there wasn't going to be a third season so I, it didn't really motivate me to like continue. But I was doing my bookshelves actually and I was like I'm going to set up my bookshelves, I'm going to reorganize my bookshelves and I'm going to watch Haters Back Off at the same time. And that's what I did and it literally took me all eight episodes to do my bookshelves. So it just works out perfectly, but I am really sad that Colleen is not going to get a third season because I know she was so passionate about this show and you can tell just like how much thought went into the show and like so much effort and just so much hard work and you know it does really suck that they're not getting a third season. You know and I do wish there was a third season because I find Miranda like so interesting just the fact that Colleen created this whole character and this whole character has this like life story and it's it's just so interesting to me that like it seems like Miranda is like a real person but she's actually not like it, it's just so fascinating to me. Yeah I really did enjoy it. It's definitely a show that I would probably rewatch actually because it's just like weird and it's like 
you know, you don't have to like pay that much attention to it. Like, and you're still getting the story. Does that make sense? I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. And I wish we would have got another season because that ending to the first or to the second season was just like, what happens now? <laughs> I don't know. So that was it for my TV show and movie wrap up for January and February. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what TV shows or movies you've been loving recently. I feel like there's so many things I need to catch up on. Like it's actually giving me anxiety and that's why I'm trying to like watch a movie a month or two TV shows a month because January I watched nothing but like I watched everything in February. So I just need to keep up that routine where I'm like watching at least something per month. Does that make sense? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!